I'm in downtown Chicago right now. Uh, we're gonna do a review on a place called Au Cheval. It's this famous burger joint, I guess a gastro pub, and it's very famous for its burger. You know, I, people have told me, locals have told me this burger is amazing. I've gone to um, uh, stores and people say, you gotta check out this burger. So uh, we're gonna check it out. I'll give you a review. I'm gonna order different things and we'll see what happens. But we're in Chicago and we're gonna have some fun. All right, back at the hotel, it's just too noisy out there. We just finished with Au Chevelle, which apparently means horse. My wife said, is the burger made out of horse? And I said, no, of course not. If it's beef, she said, better be a really good burger. And so we ordered four things. We ordered a single cheeseburger. We ordered the fried bologna sandwich. We ordered uh, fried chicken and we ordered hash browns. So let me just go through them real quick. Of course, the main star is that single cheeseburger. And let me say, it was a very good burger. You know, my daughter said it was an amazing burger and she usually does not say that. It was a really good burger, it was juicy. Uh, there was no tomato, there was no lettuce on this burger, just pickles, cheese. I'm not even sure there was sauce, but it was pretty juicy, right? Uh, there was two patties for the single burger, so I don't know if I ordered wrong or they. that's just the way they do it because there is a double uh, burger, which probably means four patties, which would be a little bit too much for me, but that burger was really good. A very simple presentation, just a pickle and that burger and that whole combination. It really was a very good burger. Very juicy, um, very delicious. The uh, fried bologna sandwich was massive. It's like this thick and I thought, well, this is going to be um, really too hard to eat. But that meat is actually very soft and so it's a pretty good uh, combination as well. It was not too salty. I thought it was gonna be really salty. I'm really afraid of that But just a little bit of sauce and That bologna and you can just eat it and melts in your mouth really good as well. I recommend that uh, The fried chicken tastes like Korean fried chicken. Uh, I like it because the presentation comes with a little hand, warm hand towel So gives that that little bit of a fun factor. So I thought it was good and lastly of course we had the hash browns uh, I think baked or uh, fried in duck heart fat if I don't uh, if memory serves it was pretty good a little bit on the crispy side but a good compliment to your burger so you know obviously when you order burger you're trying to order fries or some kind of hash brown on the side with the pickle so that's pretty good and um, so I would recommend this place Oh Chevelle it's uh, it, let me just say when we got there it was about three o'clock we had to line up for an hour and a half we had to go to another restaurant uh, just to sit down and have a have an ice cream just to come back is a little bit hot day but it was really um, a good place. So if you're in Chicago, definitely need to check out Au Chevelle. It's a little gastro pub, a, little, a lot of fun uh, factor in this spot, but uh, do line up early. They don't take reservations. You cannot get reservations. So line up early, get your spot, and it's, good, it's a good time. So check it out. Uh, until next time, keep eating good food, and we'll sign off. See you later. Please do subscribe to our little fledging channel. We do appreciate it. See you later. Welcome back to HM and Biggie Review Things. I'm in downtown Chicago at the Little Goat Diner. It's a pretty famous joint. The breakfast joint closes at 3 p.m., but uh, people are excited to be here. You gotta line up early, uh, or take reservations anyways. Uh, we got at 8.30, the whole place is packed a.m., 8.30 a.m. So we'll order some food, we'll see what the hype is about, but uh, you can see by the crowds uh, that uh, a lot of people are uh, wanting to tr dine here. So check that in later, I'll review it in the hotel and, and we'll see. All right, we just finished a little goat diner. Was the food good? Yeah. All right, well, that wasn't the most enthusiastic answer, but I would say the food was excellent. If you like breakfast food like me, you're gonna like it. Uh, we ordered this little piggy, went back to China, dish I, I don't know it, it you know had a little bit Asian inspired flavors it had a cheddar scone and egg and some kind of meat you know it's put together well well you know nicely and it's got a little bit of fusion too because they had a little bit of roasted blueberries that was really good that was like one of the big hits uh, we had a, a pancake a blueberry pancake which is super fluffy and they had some kind of homemade granola again excellent uh, that was one of my uh, my wife's favorites we ordered um, Japanese -inspired? a Japanese inspired pancake, pancake. I can't say the word. It's, takoyaki. It's not takoyaki. That, that's the, the, the octopus ball. It's the oka something. I apologize. But that was really good. That had, a, you know, it was like sort of a, a westernized version of it, but uh, had a lot of Japanese flavors. 
Uh, excellent pancake. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we had the Spanish omelet, which um, if you like peppers, if you like that um, Spanish flavor to <laughs> to your food, you're gonna like that. It, like it's Mexican, and you know. But um, if you don't like veggies, don't order that. That basically is like a vegetarian omelet. <laughs> so uh, excellent food. I I enjoyed uh, all of it. Um, any other thoughts? Yummy. Yummy. That's Worth okay. The visit. Worth a visit. Yeah. So if you're in downtown Chicago, if you're visiting here, go to Little Goat Diner. They also have a um, a little bakery next door called Sugar Goat, and um, that's a lot of fun too. A lot of baked goods. I appreciate uh, Little Goat Diner because they have gluten free options. So if you're children or if you you don't want to eat gluten, they can provide some options for you. And for example, my daughter had a gluten free mac and cheese, which tasted really good. I tried a little bit, and uh, the atmosphere is fun. You can see the place is packed. Um, so if you like diner food, um, check it out, okay? Uh, anyways, uh, until next time, uh, keep eating things, keep watching things, and uh, hopefully you travel as well after this pandemic and able to see some things and eat some things as we are. Check it out, uh, see you later. Oh, please like and subscribe to this fledging channel. All right, welcome back to HM and Biggie Review Things. I'm in downtown Chicago in Fulton Market area. Very famous place for food. I'm going to Royster, which is one of Michelin star uh, celebrity chef or chef in general, uh, Grant Atkins restaurants. Uh, he owns a bunch. This is his chicken restaurant. So uh, I think it got one Michelin star and uh, a few years ago, but uh, it's his chicken restaurant. I'm gonna try a chicken burger and I'll let you know how it goes and uh, a few other things on the menu as well. All right, well, we're gonna go check out this restaurant and give a quick review. So stay tuned uh, for the review. things we had the chicken sandwich we had the eggs benedict with ham we had two soups the tomato soup and the gazpacho and some sides and the chicken waffles chicken waffles is really good so obviously the star of this place because it's got you know this chicken feather is the chicken you know and i would say the chicken's good the, the chicken sandwich is very very good i don't know if it's the best in the universe just because you know you and i can name some good chicken uh, restaurants and having chicken burgers. I had Chick-fil-A last night. It's definitely better than that. You know, the, the chicken's brined and, and it's moist and inside the crispy uh, crust is really nice on the outside. The bread is a little bit harder than I thought, but maybe that's a point because maybe it's too, too soft. It soaks up all the juice and it's nasty, but it held together pretty well. It has a little bit of a hot sauce, a little bit of a kick, but uh, definitely if you're afraid of it'd be too hot, it's fine. You know, you can tolerate it. Chicken waffles was really good. Um, the waffle is a little bit thinner than I thought it would be, but again, maybe that's a point. And the proportion is not as big as the typical chicken waffles you see. Normally you see like mounds of chicken and this really thick waffle and by the time you finish it, you're really stuffed. This one did not come with syrup and I thought it would definitely come with syrup, but I guess it's made to be eaten without syrup. It's sugary enough. Uh, the soups are really good too. Um, you know, my daughter and my wife both had soups. One had tomato soup. It was a little bit of a, a puff pastry on top and, and it was good uh, and uh, really creamy and uh, hearty and the other one was a gazpaccio cold soup and the presentation was really good you know these little vegetables inside and they poured into the bowl to give it a little bit of that wow factor obviously when you're dealing with this Michelin star chef if you see in his other restaurants uh, you know there's a reason why it's the best restaurants you know within the best restaurants in of the in the world top 10 and some of his restaurants I, I passed by Alinea which is his three-star Michelin restaurant you know and <laughs> obviously hopefully one day you can try that restaurant but I'm doubtful but uh, we went to this one which was his chicken restaurant and I think it was uh, 
same level of excellence there obviously a little bit of a different uh you know focus but a very good restaurant so if you're in the fulton area the downtown chicago area i definitely recommend it the service is very good as usual with these restaurants they really try to accommodate you so you know if you have a gluten free uh, gluten intolerance or some kind of uh you know allergy they ask you and they will modify some of the recipes for you not all of them we tried to modify a, uh, a, a you know a pasta dish they couldn't do that here but they give us some some other options as well so i would say overall very good restaurant we we had a few sides what sides we had bacon which is which was nice you know nothing out of this world it was like a kind of sugary bacon and this sweet. sweet potato which was uh had some some sauces on it and made the whole thing taste obviously a lot better presentation is very good as well so uh that's our, my review um of royster uh, let me know if you've been to Royster, if you think it's a it's a good restaurant, and if you've been to the other uh, restaurant that Grant Atkins has, uh, hopefully I'm saying his name correctly, uh, please let me know and love to, uh, we'll chat, so comment below. Anyways, um, until next time, keep eating things, keep watching things, keep traveling, and we'll see you down the road. Please do like and subscribe to this little channel. Thank you so much.